our Father's holy faith We will be true to Thee till death Hello, hello, what's this then? It smells like cookies, Luther Chocolate chip, I'd say Come on <laughs> Cookies! Ah, lovely. We'll just set these out of harm's way. If you know what I mean. It means us. For a spot of tea, what? Get those cookies yet, Belfry. Come on. Faith of our fathers, holy faith. Did you know that without faith it's impossible to please God? That's what the Bible says. But everyone has faith in something, right? But not all faith is worthwhile. For instance, some people used to believe that the Earth is flat. Others believe that UFOs are watching us. Some believe that if you rub a rabbit's foot, it will bring you good luck. Faith in these things is not pleasing to God, but is there a faith that does please him? Yes, there is. Abraham had such a faith. Let's take a look. Abraham lived with his wife Sarah and his father's family in a city called Haran. One day, God told him to leave his country and to go to a land that he would show him. Abraham had no idea where that land was, but because of his faith, he obeyed God's word and left with Sarah, his nephew Lot, and all the possessions he had collected in his father's house. God led him to was called Canaan. God promised Abraham that he would bless him in that land and that he would make his name great and that all the families of the earth would be blessed through him. Abraham was humbled by God's blessing and he built an altar to the Lord there and worshiped him. God appeared to Abraham in a vision one night and told him that his descendants would be as numerous as the stars in heaven. Ever try counting the stars? What is amazing is that Abraham and Sarah had no children when God made this promise to him. In fact, Abraham was 75 years old at the time, and Sarah was 65, long past the age when she could bear children. But do you know what? Abraham believed what God had told him, and because of his faith, God declared him righteous. 24 years passed, and Abraham and Sarah were still childless. 
By now, Abraham was 99 years old and Sarah was 89. Did God forget Abraham? Did he forget his promises to him? Many people would have given up hope. They might have said that God does not answer his promises. <laughs> but not Abraham. He believed. He had faith in Almighty God, a faith that was a saving faith. And God did not forget. A little while later, the Lord appeared to Abraham and told him that in one year, Sarah would give birth to a son. Imagine that! One year later, God rewarded Abraham's faith, and Sarah gave birth to a son, Isaac. And so, Abraham became the father of all who truly believe. So you see, God was pleased with Abraham's faith, and because of it, God made him righteous. Because of what Jesus did, God offers salvation to us as a free gift. But we must receive this gift by faith, just like Abraham. Amazing, isn't it? Theo thinks he's outsmarted us by putting the cookies on a top shelf. This'll show him, Belfry. We'll just fill up this balloon with steam from Theo's tea kettle, float up to the shelf, then haul in all the cookies we can eat. Piece of cake! Uh, I don't know about this, Lufa. Yeah, you have little faith. <coughs> Come on! I've got faith this isn't going to work! Dum, dum, dee, dum. La, 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 la. <coughs> Doubted me, Belfry. Oh, me of little faith. All right, Belfry, get ready to haul in those cookies. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> about it either. <laughs> <laughs> 